The best place to start with the, uh, the simulator itself is to have a look at all the different parts of the simulator. If we start up here in the top right hand corner, uh, we have air communications panels. These are standard panels, uh, there's no difference to these, you'd see these uh, on any dive site. Across the uh, top of the panel we have uh, different uh, video feeds. Uh, we have a video feed from the wet bell, a video feed from diver 2 and a video feed from diver 1. Uh, across here we have the DP alarm system. In any offshore uh, dive control there will be a DP alarm system. Uh, and the DP alarm system works in the normal way, uh, green, orange and red. Uh, if there is an alarm there will be an audio alarm and that will be the response uh, for the, or that will be the requirement for the supervisor to respond appropriately by muting the alarm and then moving the divers back to the well or back to the surface as required. Uh, we have video recordings of the supervisor doing the work and smile, you're on candid camera now. Um, and in addition to that, every time a, a gauge is operated, a valve is operated, uh, a flow meter is operated, those are recorded uh, in the computer generated report at the end of the dive. So ascent rates and descent rates are recorded, opening and closing valve are uh, recorded and the pressures on the gauges are recorded. So the black box is more an exercise in turning the recorder on and turning it off because regardless of that black box everything is being recorded throughout the uh, simulation. As we uh, work through the system over here in the far right hand corner we have our smoke mask through a built-in breathing system and the gas supplies for that built-in breathing system. The built-in breathing system uh, is designed in case there's an emergency in dive control and the simulator has the ability to generate its own uh, smoke uh, and with the smoke uh, the, the expectation of course then is the supervisor puts on his built-in breathing system mask uh, and then continues the dives uh, and finalises the dive as required. So it gives us that flexibility to simulate that type of emergency situation. Now as we move uh, through the rest of the panel uh, over here we have uh, our communications uh, hub, we have an intercom system and the intercom provides access to all parts of the ship. We have a standard VHF radio, the VHF radio provides uh, uh, again access to all parts of the ship. As we move along the top of the panel here we have gauges for standby diver, wet bell, diver 2 and diver 1. The gauges are actually uh, operated through electronics, they're not operated. Um, using any gas supply. The oxygen analyzers work in the normal way uh, as the analyzers would in, a, in an offshore environment. You calibrate the analyzers uh, using the calibration gas that's supplied. The analyzers themselves have a flow meter. We can adjust the flow meter uh, in, this, in the normal way and while it might be a little bit difficult for you to see there, the uh, the flow meter works exactly the same as it works offshore uh, and the little bauble moves up and down accordingly. Now even though this is an air diving panel we're able to use this panel to simulate uh, nitrox diving. So we can dial into the system any, ver any uh, mixture of nitrox that we wish to use uh, and in fact I'll get uh, the operator to dial up uh, a nitrox mix now. James if you could dial up any mix of your choice. Now in this case we have a nitrox mix coming from diver 2. The nitrox mix is at 38.5% oxygen uh, and it's flowing through the analyzer as normal. So we can set up a simulation using uh, a variety of nitrox mixes on all of our gas supplies uh, and from there um, we rerun the dive and that gives us that extra de degree of complexity because we can then uh, implement some of the different uh, nitrox emergencies that are likely to occur. Okay, as we move through the panel itself, uh, we have the low pressure air supply here, which is to simulate a, a low pressure air compressor from the deck, uh, and that low pressure supply can be used to, uh, to the bell or to diver one. Gas supplies two, three, and four are quads of gases. They're designed to simulate quads of gases. Okay, in this corner here uh, to the right uh, is our hot water system. We have two separate supplies of hot water uh, coming into the system uh, and that enables the diving supervisor to switch to alternate supplies if required. A high and low audible alarms on the hot water systems uh, are also applied. Once the diver's on the bottom, 
There are a number of other things that we can do to uh, cover off on, a, on the different types of emergency situations you're likely to experience. Some of those can include, for example, the breathing rate of the diver. At the moment, I can hear the breathing rate of the diver, which is normal. But we have the ability with the simulator to increase the breathing rate, both speed and sound. And as you can hear, the diver's breathing rate has increased significantly. Now, obviously that's an audio cue for the diving supervisor to do something about it. Diver 1, topside. Yeah, top side, top side. Uh, diver 1, your breathing's all over the place. Stop, slow down, and flush your helmet through. Yeah, right to that. Topside, stand by. That's better. The simulator can be used by training offshore supervisors who on completion of their training have to go away and get 200 hours of offshore time. Now the simulator can be used in Australia to gain up to 30% of their time, around 60 hours can be gained in the simulator. And IMCA are in the process at the moment of identifying the key competencies and the key emergency procedures that need to be covered during that simulated time. And the last thing that we can use the simulator for is to practice dive profiles, practice procedures uh, to uh, ensure that we are as efficient as we can be uh, in completing a particular uh, project. Uh, and that's where perhaps using animation and the video system uh, would make uh, an improvement to the way in which the simulation is conducted. Thank you.